Ross. We're at Alley Cat Music, and it's at 150 Kelly Alley State College. I've had this store on and off for about 14 years. I first started it when I got off the road with Queen Bee and the Blue Hornet Band. I needed something to do. And, um, you know, I know guitars. <laughs> I was with Queen Bee and the Blue Hornet Band for 15 years, and I've been with Miss Melanie and the Valley Rats. It'll be four years New Year's Eve this year. I opened quite a few, a few times with, with for BB, and a whole mess of others. You know, Gatemouth Brown, Otis Rush, Roy Buchanan, Buddy Guy. Back when I was with Queen Bee. That was like a 290 year ban, 15 years, Europe, Canada, and the States. And then Queen Bee got, you know, the chance to have a record deal and tour and all that, and that's what I chose. And then I had my own kids and I wanted to get off the road. So I started this guitar shop. The amp started first, they're right here. And my partner at the time was Jason Zarecki. He was out on the road, and a guy brought an amp in for him to try that the guy made. And Zarek liked it. He brought one out. And we liked it, but we didn't, like, totally love it. But we know Dave so David Sarge, who is uh, probably the best amp guru on the East Coast. He's also a E professor on campus, good pedal steel player, good guitar player. Pretty much runs a Millennium Science building and fixes R2 amps. And so we called him in. And we sat down with a bunch of guitars and a couple six packs and just started uh, changing components and things. And we got them right and then we started selling them. And uh, we've probably sold 100 so far in 10 years. I was playing a Stratocaster style guitar, which was actually a GNL Legacy. And I was playing an ASAC and I wanted to, uh, I wanted to reduce it. So I put a middle pickup in the, uh, in the ASAC. And it was just for me. And then I was playing at a gig and a guy shows up and decides he wants to buy it. And uh, so it sort of sparked a thing going, maybe we should uh, make these things. And uh, we began to make them and sell them on our own. We sort of took a sound that I heard in my head and tried to turn it into a real thing. And I feel pretty strongly that we did that. I mean, you can look around and tell we in a guitar center. Um, if you come in here, you either get Junior Tutwilder or myself, both of us have a mess of experience and gigs under our belt. Our experience is, is pretty valuable. We can point you in the right direction of, of what you need, whether we have it or not. We'll still try to point you in the right direction and get you going so you have a success, successful playing experience.